Baltimore ransomware attack. U.S. Virgin Islands hit with ransomware. Third, Florida City falls victim to ransomware attack. Georgia court system struck by ransomware attack. And who's going to save us from all this? Why, Godzilla, of course. Sorry, I couldn't resist. All right, welcome back. Well, if you haven't noticed, uh, the malware known as ransomware is back in the news big time. This is something I talked about years ago, and I was trying to warn everybody, this is a very, very bad piece of malware. On a scale of 1 to 10, I give this malware a rating 1,000. Seriously, no joke. So let's talk about this briefly. All right, so what is ransomware? Well, it is a type of malware that is used to uh, attack or infect computers and lock your files, encrypt your files until a fee or a ransom is paid, hence the term ransomware. Now, this is usually, uh, a, a person can get ransomware through unsol unsolicited or phishing uh, email. So if you ever get an email that doesn't sound right, don't click on it. Now what happens with a uh, ransom once you're files are locked uh, if you don't pay the fee or the ransom your data is usually locked uh, forever as far as I know and really that the best way to um, prevent this is number one beware of what you uh, open up as a file or an email and uh, have backup have multiple backups but ransomware is on the rise and it's it is very very nasty so let's talk about some of the ways to prevent this type of malware, of ransom, or malware in general. So preventing ransomware and malware. All right, so this is my list here. This is not a complete list. You may have other ways to prevent malware. Feel free to post your tips in the comments below. One thing I need to say is uh, nothing is 100% foolproof. Uh, anything that is that can be created by man, I suppose, can be destroyed by man also. So just beware of that. All right, number one, make sure your system is up to date. This goes for Linux, Mac, Windows, it doesn't matter. Make sure your system is has all the updates and don't forget to reboot if you have to. Number two, don't use a copy of Windows that wasn't originally yours. Uh, I think this is pretty much self-explanatory. Yeah, just don't go installing installing a random copy of an OS. That's uh, yeah, that's that's not a good idea. All right, number three, turn on Windows anti ransom software. Uh, some of you may not know this is as of last year, maybe a year before. Windows 10 uh, has built-in anti ransomware protection. Uh, it's it's not 100% foolproof, and you kind of have to go through some hoops to turn this on and maybe I'll talk about this in a future video but yeah uh, Windows 10 uh, to help you out has built-in anti ransomware protection just make sure that it is turned on number four make sure you update your antivirus software Windows 10 I believe uh, all of Windows has built-in Windows Defender that's pretty much the only one I use right now there are others that, that that you can certainly use, such as Avast, AVG, Komodo. They're all good, so make sure you update your antivirus software, including Windows Defender. I do believe Windows Defender does it automatically. Number five, run regular malware scans. Again, I believe Windows 10 does it, Windows Defender does it automatically. Yeah, depending on how, on how much, you, how much uh, on how much you use your computer, definitely run uh, regular malware scans at least once a week. Number six, we've talked about this, beware unknown, unsolicited or uh, unknown or phishing emails. Uh, if it doesn't look right, don't open the email. Now one thing about this, if you're using a Linux based system, you're probably okay to open this type of email and I'll say probably. Uh, I do feel safer using Linux uh, or a Linux-based system such as a Chromebooks. You know, I, I have my recent, I picked up a recent, my first Chromebook, and we'll talk about that in a moment. But if you really are curious about that email, you just have to open it. Uh, consider it, open it on a separate computer that has Linux installed. 
Number seven, be careful using open Wi-Fi. Any hotspot, any spot that has open Wi-Fi, you know, Starbucks, McDonald's. Remember, it's, it's open Wi-Fi. That means anybody can access it, including you. Think about that for a second. Do you feel secure? Yeah, so don't, don't uh, you know, don't post, uh, don't use any passwords or banking. Don't do any banking on open Wi-Fi. Open Wi-Fi is a convenience, but you are trading in your security for that open Wi-Fi. Number eight, probably the most important, back up your files. Uh, yeah, I have, I have multiple USB sticks, multiple uh, hard drives I've used over the years. I'll have some links for this below in the show notes for all, for all these products if you're interested, some uh, Amazon affiliate links. But back up your files. And, and it doesn't matter whether you're using Windows, Linux, or Mac. Back up your important stuff. Number nine, back up again. Just in case the first backup hard drive fails, have a second one. I recommend at least two backup uh, alternatives. I have three actually more but at least two three is probably sufficient for most consumers number 10 yeah I, there's really no such thing as having too many backups can you think of any situation where you have too many backups uh, not off the top of my head so back up and back up again number 11 this is what i use have a second computer. Well, I have more than a second computer. I have ThinkPads and a Chromebook. Anyway, have a second computer ready for emergency use with no critical files on it. If your computer gets hit with malware, ransomware, or something else, and you don't have time to, you know, to have it fixed or have it clean, and you need to use your computer for personal or business reasons, have a second computer ready to go that is clean and that has no critical files on it, so you, so you can get immediately on the web uh, and do what you have to do. Number 12, consider installing a Linux-based system, OS, on a second computer. I love ThinkPads. They work great with Linux. That being said, number, thir no, number 13, I know a lot of you don't care for Linux or just too busy and you don't have time to deal with any potential bugs. Been there, get that. I will say Linux has gotten much, much, much better since I started with Linux back in 06. But I understand if you're a busy person, you know, maybe you're married, a couple kids, a busy life, you don't have time to install Linux and try to figure it out. Number 14, consider affordable Chromebooks. They are very, very, very Windows Windows newbie friendly. They are they're self-maintained, meaning you just plug them in, charge up the battery, turn it on, set up an account, and you're good to go. You don't generally, with the Chromebook, you don't have to worry about you know, malware or, or any of the nasties. Generally speaking, again, nothing is 100%, but if you want a low maintenance uh, operating system, a low maintenance machine, right now I can't think anything, I can't think of anything better than, than a Chromebook. These machines start at $100, sometimes less for a reefer, believe it or not. I would stay around the $200 range or higher. Number 15, finally, yeah, stay informed. Uh, up to date of what's happening out there in the world of technology such as on this total os today channel but stay informed no matter what you use again you, you don't have to panic you don't have to be uh, paranoid as it were just be aware on how things work and be aware how to protect yourself and, and again the best ways to have backups multiple backups have a second machine uh, Preferably Linux based, such as a Chromebook, just in case something happens to your primary computer. That's all I have for this one. Those are my tips on how to protect yourself from ransomware. This is not going to go away, that's for sure. It's just too it's just too popular. Well, maybe that's a bad word. It's well at least it's popular for the people who make money off ransomware. It's it's uh it's profitable. I'll put it to you that way. So Protect yourself no matter what you use. Have those backups ready to go. Have a second machine just in case something happens. And uh, if you follow these steps, you should be in good shape. So I'll catch you on the next one, on the next live show. I don't know when. If you would like to sponsor a live show and or join us, if you would like to remain anonymous, uh, you certainly can. Just check out the links below in the show notes or just shoot me an email at totalostoday1 at gmail.com.